So the concept of a melanger began with a centuries-old mortar and pestle, stone against stone grinding product together. But for the purposes of chocolate making, it can be used either to grind nibs into liquor, or it can be used to make small batches of chocolate, since it is known as a refiner conge. This machine reduces the particle size of raw material while simultaneously conging. Typically, all of the ingredients are added in the beginning, which would result in a very high paste fat. Significant particle size reduction can be achieved down to 20 microns, which really cannot be detected on a consumer's palate, but the cycle times can well exceed 24 hours. As with the longitudinal conge, the mass fat is quite high, so the ability to eliminate volatiles is quite limited. Many molecules in a chocolate system are volatile or have the ability to be easily vaporized, so a benefit of conging is the ability to drive them off, which reduces the overall acidity. Melangers are very popular and ideal for small confectioners. The initial cost is low, you can buy them on Amazon, you can, uh, the footprint is small, and the machine completes several steps at once. All-in-one conges or refiner conges have gained popularity over the years. As with the melanger, the refiner conge reduces particle size and conges within the same machine at the same time. Forced air can be used to help drive off volatiles, reduce the cycle time, and improve flavor of the finished product. The principal theory of this machine is based off of liquid or high fat conging. That said, there are several styles of machines. So the traditional style of refiner conge displayed on the screen consists of a water jacketed horizontal tank. The ingredients are added and a series of angled metal knives scrape the product against a grooved inner wall which rotates around a center axis. These conges take up minimal floor space and consume less energy than other options and the cost is pretty reasonable for the throughput. Drawbacks would be long process times and the potential for using more cocoa butter to standardize to viscosity due to superfine particles formed during the grinding process.